right, welcome back to FMTV here at MWC Barcelona. We're starting day two strong. We're talking AI networks with Samsung and Horizon. Alok, Steven, thanks for joining us this morning. And let's get right to it. Alok, tell us about what you've been doing with Verizon. A lot of talk about AI, obviously here at MWC. What role has that played in the, in the work you guys are, are carrying out together? Yeah, recently we announced a collaboration with Verizon centered around Samsung's AI-powered energy savings manager application running in Verizon's commercial network. And what that application does is it understands the site environment takes a look at historical data associated with usage at the site, and then attempts to turn down, uh, use, uh, turn down some of the uh, equipment, uh, either at cell level or even at path level, in order to reduce energy consumption while uh, not impacting the throughput uh, and the user experience at the site. So very con exciting collaboration. Um, we're, we're looking forward to bringing it deeper into, into Verizon's network going forward. Excellent, and of course, Stephen, from your perspective, AI must be a central part of what you're working on and how you're going to build out your network. Tell me about what role it'll play and what benefit does it bring to your customers at the end of the day? When, when we think about our network and what we're trying to do from, uh, from a, a growth and an architecture standpoint, we really do put the customer at the center of that and, and want to walk through how we can add value and or improve the overall experience for them. This is just another example of looking at you know, AI opportunities and just general opportunities for improvement when we think about the, uh, the overall customer experience. We want, to, we want to focus in on, in this case, how we improve you know, use of our network and energy efficiency. And, and it may not be something that the customer necessarily sees every day. What we do end up with is a more efficient network that doesn't impact their experience, makes a positive experience for them, and then we can go about working on the next thing that will improve, actually improve their experience improve performance uh, with uh, you know, the, the benefits that we get from a feature like this. Yeah, and obviously, as we said, a lot of talk around AI and what role it plays in the network. Probably everyone's thinking about it, but this is clearly a story of success. So can you maybe touch on what are some of those factors that is uh, giving you this, this uh, really successful uh, project? You know, when we look at AI, there's not a, a one thing that we're trying to accomplish with it. It really is uh, being moved into the, uh, the overall network experience across the board. Um, whether it's personalization of the customer experience or looking for overall performance improvements or capacity improvements of the network, it, it's, it's not a one thing, it's really almost all things. And uh, as we look at this engagement, uh, we think it's a great opportunity to uh, um, have a, a great uh, step forward and, and almost build a, you know, a foundation on for each and every you know, next step, which would include uh, uh, improvements to uh, the, uh, uh, the, the customer's uh, overall experience, would include um, uh, the, the, the way we can you know, grow our network in a very efficient manner. And, and all those things end result in how we um, drive uh, an, an actual you know, um, end product, elegant product, and overall efficient product that we think they can use uh, each and every day for what they really think is important. So we're seeing here some real tangible results and objectives. So let's close out this interview by thinking ahead. And, and I'll give you both a chance here to, to speak to what you're looking forward to the most or what you're most excited about when it comes to AI and its uh, implementation that works. Alex, shall we start with you? Yeah, absolutely. We, we think uh, AI will be transformative uh, to operator networks. Uh, one thing that's very clear is that mobile operators generate an incredible amount of data uh, in their network, and, and it's more than humans are able to process and gain insights from. And so being able to, to leverage AI models and, and new technologies that are you know, being developed in, in other industries, and we're seeing the benefits in other industries, is going to have a, a huge impact for telecom. And you know, this Energy Savings Manager is a, a good starting point. Like Steven said, it's a foundation. We're seeing, you know, 15% on average energy savings at the site just from this, and and then what we can do to build on top of that across network planning, operations, optimization, really sky's the limit. Thanks, and Steven, what are you looking forward to? Yeah. You know, as, as we kind of talked about already, we're looking at this uh, as, as an opportunity for you know, inclusion in more than just one thing. And as we look at what our customer demand is, we see AI opportunities helping uh, you know, drive and meet that demand. 
we see great partnership and are excited about uh, taking advantage of uh, solutions that our you know Samsung uh, is bringing to the table and uh, making sure that as we you know kind of uh, uh, build and uh, and grow the network that uh, you know AI will be a part of that and we think it makes a better network in the end and makes us more efficient in the end and it's something that we think uh, um, we'll be seeing across the board in our our overall RAN network. Excellent. Well, gentlemen, I look forward to seeing the outcome and, and what you guys will do next together in this partnership. But thank you so much for taking your, uh, some time with us in, in your busy schedule in Barcelona. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Great. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.